Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day. It's the last one of the year that we'll be doing before, of course, we tick it over into 2024. So let's take this opportunity right from the get-go to wish you all the very best for the year ahead. I hope it brings you prosperity, health and happiness. Anyway, back on to today. It is Mike Smith at Go Markets leading around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. U.S. markets last night trading in neutral. The S&P 500 remains within half a percent away from joining the Dow record highs. Lower volumes as per usual for this time of year. Quite a choppy market, more so in the FX world, but still relatively so in equities also. U.S. futures are just above neutral in Asian trading. Asian markets are struggling to make significant gains today. The ASX is still near two-year highs, but down about 0.2%. All sectors are relatively weak, uh, materials and energy, the underperformers, energy particularly because of that drop in oil last night. European futures pointing to a cautious open. And the US dollar index in the FX world snapped a five-day losing straight, but looks really unconvincing and still trading near five lows. Looks like a bit of a profit-taking move to me. But we did see gold fall back from the high of 2088 it hit, back down to 2070 after its previous day's close at an all-time high. Copper also pulled back from a brief test near $4. That still is very much on the cards. And as we've already referenced, all pulled back to the bottom of a short-term trading range on the WTI CFD contract. Bitcoin dropped from near resistance levels at 44500 and ended the session mid-range. Really little movement in Asia of note today. Very little on the data front, unlike the Friday before Christmas, where we had a plethora of data coming out. We've got very little today. Uh, the Chicago PMI is the only data point of note. Unlikely to move markets significantly, but maybe the difference between us finishing slightly positively and slightly negatively, one would suggest. Maybe a little bit of end of year repositioning, perhaps too. Whatever happens, it's likely to be quite choppy, quite low volume again, I would suggest. A couple of charts at Core RI today. If we look at the ASX, uh, construction stock still doing well. Here's BLD, Boral Limited. You can see we move up again uh, for really the fourth day in a row. We're now up near this 540 level. Put this on a weekly chart for context. You can see since we broke 516, we're looking very positive. This looks as though we might make our way up possibly to test uh, this 570 level, which would be a very healthy return in the region of around about 6%. One possibly for a medium term hold, uh, but certainly on today's price action looks very positive. Difficult to find things of note on the FX world, but possibly the Australian dollar, US dollar is worth a look. We're seeing already on this hourly chart how the Australian dollar has been in uptrend for a significant amount of time, despite that USD strength overnight. It looks short-lived. It's bounced off support at 68.28. We just bring this in a little bit. You can see possibly a move over the 68.60 level could be interesting. A high probability trade, maybe if it breaches 68.70, and that would represent a high not seen since July, and possibly a move in the first instance to 69 cents. So enjoy your weekend. Have a wonderful New Year celebration, be it a noisy one or be it a quiet one. We'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.